My name is Samuel Juguna. I'm a farmer here in Kiambu, Lali Sub County, in a location called Kagwe. This is my shamba. I grow this super napier grass, uh, which I planted last year. I have found it very good because it's growing very fast. Its growth rate is very fast. Within three months, you have enough to cut. And uh, I also realized that uh, when I gave it to my animals, to my cows, eh, you can realize some difference, even in terms of feeding. They are feeding very, very fast and they eat all of it. You cannot find any piece left. And I also realized that uh, if you have a lot, if I was to give continuous, because we recorded some little difference in the few days that we give in our milk production. So I realized if I have a lot which I can give for maybe a continuous period, it is, give, it, it is likely to make my animals produce more milk than, uh, than uh, they are producing now. When I'm currently feeding on the other ancient type of napier grass, we don't really know the protein content of this traditional napier, but of course I can tell there is a big difference between super napier and the traditional napier grass that we use. So moving forward, I'm expecting that I will be able to propagate this uh, super napier. Uh, I'm going to change all my shambas by and by to see, to, to have all this uh, type of super napier grass in the whole of my farm. And uh, with that, I think I will revolutionize the, the feeding of animals in this area by use of this super napier. Uh, when I read it, I see it has very high protein content, which is something that we like from the, for the animals, which I expect this one combined with maybe maize that will give our animals the type of proteins that we need. So I hope probably by the end of this year, I will have uh, propagated a lot of it. That is why this super nature napier behind me is quite long because I want to have those cuttings and I want to have as many as possible. This super napier is overgrown because of that. Otherwise, if I was to cut it, I would have cut and it should have been almost now getting to another enough for cutting again. So I'm encouraging and I'm calling upon my fellow farmers to come on board and try to have this type of napier in their farms. Uh, I want to assure you this super napier will help you in two or three ways I know. One, your animals will increase production. Two, you, the turnaround of growth of this super napier, it makes uh, your you know, availability of fodder quicker. You will not have a problem with fodder because it grows quicker, much, much more than the traditional one. Three, uh, you know, it will give your animals the strength that you need. And this, this, this super napier being a little bit soft, uh, softer fodder uh, make animals have less work of digestion. Now much of its energy is converted to making milk as opposed to digesting of the food. Because the ordinary napier is a bit hard. So our animals use a lot of their energy to digest. When you give it much, much softer fodder, this makes the animal use much of the energy to make milk and just less energy to digest. So I'm, en I'm encouraging uh, my fellow farmers to try their best to have this type of uh, fodder, this super nature, napier. It is going to help you big time. And uh, I'm sure you will not regret if you follow my advice.